Hey folks, today I just wanted to kind of cover a, a little experiment I'm working on. Maybe wasting my time, but being the winter time, there ain't a whole lot you can do, even though here in Florida it went from uh, 20 degrees, I got some broken pipes, all the way up to today it's probably, I don't know, probably 70 degrees out here, and it's uh, December the 17th. So, you know, kind of weird. But anyway, I like the sun. <laughs> but uh, I just want to show right quick how I started working on this, and there's an easier way to do it. But uh, some of this I still want to do because I want to have little smaller inserts. But if anybody ever seen the old Job's microbe sticks you find in the uh, garden aisle at a box store, <clears throat> instead of... Uh, doing that I tried to make some of these pellets and uh, explain how I did these I basically have these different size pipes this is of course half inch and three quarter inch C PVC pipe now this kind of pipe will uh, fit inside each other so I just kind of use it just like when you use a kid you know packing dirt in the ground but I just insert one or the other and I pack it down and then when I'm done I, I push it out this end but the, uh, and of course, like I say, I got to, this is uh, on the schedule 40 PVC. The next size down won't fit in there. You got to go down a size. Like this is a uh, one inch PVC. This one here is half inch. And of course I did the same process with that. The one inch I did into the inch and a half. Now the inch and a half is the same size on the inside as a uh, toilet paper roll and uh, what I did and getting back to this pipe later on what the reason why I want to make some of these this size is because I can make a tool out of a piece of PVC cut a uh, 45 on it you know put a sharp point on it and I can actually insert it down by around my trees and you can just fling the dirt out or you can even make a tool that you can knock the dirt back out just in case you got problems it'll leave a hole in the ground and once you do that then you can just take these and plant them by your tree and you're done with it now drying these out I've got to do experiment on some plants in the spring I'm gonna see if it kills the microbes or not but they say that uh, worm castings it's fine have it dried out. Worm casting is actually what you supposedly find on the store shelves. Farmer compost has a lot of organic matter in it. And of course here's some of my bucket left. I'm going to show you this even out of the uh, bottom of my flow through. And when you get a lot of worm poop in there, this stuff is actually, you could probably bake this and make bricks out of it if you wanted to. But uh, I'm also going to ball some of this up and make real small balls of it and use it to broadcast in my yard along with the uh, regular screen VC I'm going to be using to try to see if I can get my grass greener and I'm going to uh, put these around the yard and hopefully they'll work more as a time release and uh, help to uh, last longer in between spreading vermicompost on my yard. I don't know if it's going to work or not. Another experiment I'm working on. But uh, what I did is, like I said, you can even see, I just put them in, I uh, started putting them in a toilet paper roll and of course a paper towel roll. And you see in there, hopefully show up. If you see at the end right here, if I can get the light just right. Down here, it's, it's dry. You can see how the moisture's come out of this. The uh, stuff in here, straight out of the bottom, will flow through. This thing's probably going to turn into a brick. I'm not worried about it. I'm more interested in the properties on whether the microbes that are in vermicompost, if they die off when you dry it out, or if it still works. And like I say, it's easy to just spread screen VC on your yard and uh, be done with it. But I'm interested in making some of those time release sticks where you could even put one of these, use that same point of PVC beside your potted plants 
or vegetables or you know whatever just drop one of these in and you're done with it and just let it sit in there for however long you can estimate these things to last a month or whatever but uh, anyway the, the paper on the outside of these you could probably just leave it on there but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna peel this paper off and I'm gonna feed the paper and all them my worms so all my garbage I feed them my worms anything that I can uh, feed the worms they're getting I got a big enough bin I dispose of all paper. Anything that's paper, they'll tear it up. And uh, like I say, even all my uh, vegetable leaves that are messed up or whatever I don't want to eat, I put it in there. And uh, anyway, I'll just have to post later on the uh, results of this test. And that's it for now.